Now we meet a widow who started a new chapter of her life as a baker. More than a decade ago, Dian Tian Jingyu's life changed forever when her husband was killed in a traffic accident. Dian was plunged into a new role as a breadwinner with no clear way to keep the family afloat. But with help from the victim support group, she learned to bake bread. Now she has a thriving business in Xinzu. She wants her story to bring hope to folks facing similar dark days. Tian Qing Yu adds flour, yeast, a sourdough starter, and soy milk into the blender. The dough sits in a warm place to rise. Then it's placed in individual molds and goes into the oven. Before long, the golden loaves emerge. Sweet milk spread and savory pepper with cheese are some of the flavors on offer. All the delicious recipes are expertly baked by Tian. You wouldn't guess that she only turned to baking out of necessity. After her husband was killed in a traffic accident, she had to find a way to support her family. I didn't know what sadness was then. I just knew I had to arrange the funeral, and when that was sorted, the most important thing was the future. It was really... We had no money, and the text messages about the mortgage just kept coming. Beset by debt, Tian also had two small children to care for, but she managed to survive, taking up every chance to earn money, making pickled cabbage and crunchy plums, and sewing clothes. Then the Crime Victims Protection Association reached out its support and taught her how to bake bread. Back then, every time I made something, the association people said it was awful and tasted so bad. I wondered how come other people could make things so delicious, and I did it so badly, so I wanted to try again and again. This whiteboard in Tian's kitchen now has on it all the orders for the day, written up by her son and daughter-in-law, as well as the days of the week when her stall is open. As you can see, it's a busy schedule. Fate dealt Tian a dreadful hand, but she didn't let it be the end of the story. Now she hopes her resilience can inspire others facing a similar tragedy.